I know you can't see in there very good, but got some queens from Okie's Bees. All right, open this baby up. These came from Chico, California. And this good old Oki. They're gonna fly out, so. Because I gotta go to a different spot and put a couple more in, so I don't want to just rip here. There we go. Yep, they ship them. Oh, dang, he sent me some honey. That up, boy. Thanks, Oki. Ah, oh, yeah. Sweet. Yep, there you go. So he puts this in there for moisture. Okay. And then this is a little. Let's see, is that got the sugar patty in it? Oh, that's the. Those are the plugs, candy plugs. See the little green knotted queen in there? Or some oh yeah, oh, green nice. as an apple. Sweet. Well, let's go get them placed. Go over here. What we're gonna do is we can take these buckets off. They are full of syrup still, just set them off to the side. Oh, that one's empty. Um, we will, we can crack these lids, leave the, leave this on for now. Okay. Just set those lids and then we'll go get the queens and add them to these. Just on this and these ones too. This is McCoy, he's a future beekeeper. <laughs> he's gonna get the itch. Candy plugs on. This will take them with like, I don't know, two or three days to eat. See how it's full of candy? Oh, yeah. Pack those in there. And then what you do is you take the queen. Take this little cork out. Make sure she don't escape. Stand over here. 
here, so the sun is there. It might be an easier way to get these cords out, but cover it so she doesn't come out. Stick that in there like that. And then they'll just eat their way and out. And then they'll, yeah, they'll, they'll take it over here. We'll do this with all of them. Then, what you can do is you just take, peel this back. You might get a little spicy. I'm going to set her right here for a minute. I actually got to get my hive tool because we're going to have to fry some open so we can set her down in between the three. Yeah, look at them already going over. Oh, yeah. So these are, yeah, these bees are completely queenless. Does it matter what frame you put the queen in at this point? Or? Yeah, I'll put it here in the center. So I take one out to give us room. And then I'm going to take... Put her. You want to make sure the cage is. You don't want to put the cage like this okay. up against the side because then they can't get to her. Because they can still feed her and water her and stuff through this mesh. So you take it. And put, yeah, look at them on her. Oh yeah. And then you just kind of wedge it between them so it holds the. Yep. Queen you just put it. I'd actually need to put it down in a little bit further. I don't know if I can get this other frame in. Oh yeah. Then I'll come back in like three days and make sure that they've released her. And if they haven't, I'll just release her by myself manually. That makes sense? Yeah. So uh, do they got a lot of Look at accept, them flocking. accept her or they will accept her? Uh, they should. They've been queenless for a little bit, so they should accept her. Oh, I want to make sure I don't put her. That's the other thing. I don't want to make put her right next to my syrup. I guess if I flip that over and it gets all over. Oh, gotcha. I didn't think of that. I need to put her over a little bit more. Yeah, they're going nuts. <laughs> Some people put them down on the frame, like, like down here, and kind of push it up against the wax. But I just kind of do it like that. Make sure it's good and tight. Yeah, they they take queens better when they're fat and happy. <laughs> oh, and I didn't put that on there. There's always something that you forget. At least for me. And just like that. Good. Yep. All right. McCoy is gonna put in a queen. Maybe let's maybe stick her down between these two frames you're drawn out. So let's put her right here. Okay. This one's got foundation on it, so it won't there won't be as many bees over there.
Just like that. Oh my God. There's the wife. <laughs> 